Well, that fire was less than a mile from the zoo. So what happens if a monster bosque fire like the one we had a decade ago bears down on the zoo? We learned there is no evacuation plan for the animals there. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the zoo with a look at how they would try to protect the animals. Madeline? Well, Dean, it's not something zoo officials want to think about, but they tell us they are prepared for the worst case scenario. It was nearly 13 years ago that more than 250 acres of the Bosque in Albuquerque burned. Flames shooting out of the trees, the blaze raging to the point that it was barely controllable. A couple miles away, the Rio Grande Zoo sat untouched by the fire, but now a threat to the animals is much closer. We had four 911 calls the other night that alerted us to the fire and that were people that were in the area. Saturday night, a fire ripped through five acres of the Bosque near Tingley Beach, just down the street from the zoo. Arsonists have set a string of fires in the Bosque near the zoo over the past five years. In a situation like we had on Saturday, we took a lot of precautionary measures to make sure that um, we would be uh, safe. Dana Feldman with the city's cultural services department oversees the biopark. She says the zoo lucked out over the weekend. We were in a good situation because uh, the wind was pushing the smoke and the fire in a direction away from the biopark. But had the smoke drifted toward the zoo, a carefully practiced set of drills would take place. The first um, animals that um, are often affected are the birds and that is because of smoke inhalation. Birds would be moved to inside holding areas. Then the big animals corralled into their indoor enclosures. And if the fire creeped in close enough, zookeepers would work with the AFD to set up a perimeter to fight the flames. We um, actually have fire boxes all across the zoo, so we can pull out the hoses and start uh, applying water to um, brush or to buildings if we think that there's any issue there. Now, we asked if the biopark has any plans to load up transport and actually evacuate the animals from the zoo if it came down to it. The answer was no, and that hopefully it never comes down to that. Dean, back to you. Okay, Madeline, thank you. The biopark says Saturday's Bosque fire would be considered the closest they have come to a fire emergency in their history.